Hi, I'm Ariana. Welcome to Sustainable Sewing. Today, I'm going to show you how to sew a produce bag. Before we get started, I would just like to thank the Sharon Public Library's Sewing Threads of Diversity grant for sponsoring this video. Let's get started. You will need half a yard of polyester hex mesh, 60 inches total of 1.5 millimeter white drawstring cord, thread in coordinating colors, medium size safety pin, fabric scissors, straight pins or fabric clips, a clear beveled ruler, and fabric chalk or a water erasable marker, and a sewing machine. Let's start by cutting your fabric. Take your mesh fabric and cut one piece that is 32 inches by 12 inches for the base of the bag. This is where your chalk or water erasable marker may come in handy. If you have your beveled ruler and your chalk or your marker, you would take that and draw your 32 inch by 12 inch lines so that you know where to cut. Alternatively, you can do what I'm doing if you have a board with measurements on it like I do. I measured out the 32 inches by 12 inches on the mat and cut. Now cut two pieces of cording that are 30 inches for the drawstring closure. Fold the mesh rectangle in half so that the 32 inch length folds in half to create two layers of fabric that equals 16 inches in length. Using fabric clips, clip together the two pieces of fabric along the sides of the bag to hold them in place. Now stitch along both sides of the bag using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Make sure to backstitch when you start and finish your stitch. Fold the top edge of the bag over one inch all the way around, making sure that your raw edges are still on the outside. Clip along the fold to secure it. Make sure you do both sides of the bag. Stitch along the one inch channel, a quarter of an inch from the raw edge. You can sew all the way around the top edge of the tunnel as the mesh holes will allow us to add the drawstring cording without leaving an opening in the tunnel.
Now you can turn the bag right side out. Grab a safety pin and attach it to the end of one piece of cording. Then thread the cording through the tunnel along one side of the bag and then the other so that the ends of that piece of cording meet from the same entry and exit point. Once both pieces of cording are out, you can tie the ends together. Repeat this step again to thread the other piece of cording along the tunnel but start from the opposite side of the bag this time. Once both ends of that piece of cording are hanging from the same entry and exit point on the other side of the bag, tie the ends together. This concludes our lesson on how to sew a produce bag. Thank you so much for sewing with me today. I look forward to seeing you next time.